Hello again, back playing with some USB stuff again. So I got one of these little uh, game pads here. Looks like an old like Super Nintendo one, it's a USB. And I was deciding to make it work sort of like a mouse. Um, it does show up as a USB HID device. Um, I found where the default, the keyboard and mouse driver for nine front, um, grabs all the hid devices and that's just in case on some laptops I guess the track point just shows up as a generic hid and so it'll grab anything that calls itself hid so to fix that and the issue with the scale and stuff would take some other sort of things that might be a bigger project to sort of redo a new you know USB handling system um, but that's for a later date and also I would like to uh you know, thank my sponsor for this video, which is the viewers. So I just got a, uh, a notica notification from Google that I passed some threshold between advertisers and the gifts that some of you have sent. I passed the $100 threshold and they sent me some money. So I have $109 coming. Not sure what to do with it. So I'm putting it out there. Um, you guys can put something in the comments if you want me to buy some sort of device or doodad or something to play with on nine front, um, shoot me some ideas. But in the meantime, I wrote this thing and let's kind of go through the code here real quick. And it's my joy mouse. So joy mouse, again, I have to grab the, uh, you know, the USB library. I compile this one and I just give it a number for an endpoint. It'll go grab that using the standard sort of get device argument. I go look for the interrupt in endpoint and get that and open it up. And then the other one, a default thing on plan nine and nine front is that you've seen me do things like cat the dev mouse file and that'll output, um, you know, mice, you know, mice events. So I could just read the mouse, or in this case, it's multiplexed through Rio, and it's just going to be the mouse events inside this window. But you, know, you can see me on the video here, a little bit of a lag, so I apologize, but I move it and I get some values fitting out. And the way it works, let's stop it here, is you get um, a couple different values. You get it starts with this one here, which is this M. That means it's going to be relative positioning. So it's going to measure like, you know, kind of a vector. You know, I moved X so far, Y so far. And then this is the buttons. And then this other one here is a big tally for um, the scroll wheel. Uh, the way it actually handles the scroll wheel is it treats the scroll wheel like it's a button 8 and 16, or that's the bits. Um, so the buttons after it'd be you know the right button um and one is up and one is down and it keeps tabs on it there how far you've gone up or down and so it has to be in this kind of format and there's also a mouse in file where if you write this format into there uh, you can move the cursor around so I've demonstrated that before using the um, the wacom tablet i was playing with so i went in and found um the values from what gets spit out by the interrupt endpoint. And there's different bytes for um, X, Y, and Z, or not actually Z, that's the buttons on here. Um, so when I looked up the hit report on this thing, it actually, you can read through it, and it says that there's a, you know, a, a report number, and then an X, an X, an X, and a Y. And it's only the last X that actually works. And it spits out a value between zero and 255. Now, what that means on the little control pad here, the D, when it's in the middle, it's gonna read 127 for X and 127 for Y. And then go to zero for one and 255 for the other. And same on the other direction. And so as far as the buttons go, it's mapped like um, one, two, and three for here. And then I also have the shoulder pad set up to read the uh, 
you know, the fifth or the so be button one, two, three is before and five, and that'll all act as a scroll. So what I had have to do is take the value that actually spits out and subtract it by 127 so that I get a positive and negative in each direction. Because otherwise, when I put it in, I could like, you know, scroll like, you know, move the mouse left and down, but, you know, not the other ways because it always reported back zero. Um, and then I also had divided it here because it would just spit out, you know, this isn't like an analog stick. It's going to be 127. So as soon as I press it, it's going to say move 127 pixels one way or the other. And this thing also has a polling value of 10 milliseconds. So every 10 milliseconds, it's saying the mouse moved another 127 pixels. So without shrinking that value down, the mouse just flies around the screen like crazy fast. Oops. Anyway, so let's go ahead and test it out here. But yeah, I just grab those values, format it in that format that mouse in wants, and then have it write it into the mouse in file. So this is going to be Joy Mouse 7 because I compiled it for the ARM because I'm running on a Raspberry Pi here. And that was on input number 6. Oops. Oh, wrong one. Joy Mouse, not Joy Joy Mouse, whatever that word was. Joy Mouse number 6. And the header invalid. Ah, uh, maybe I just forgot to compile it. Let's compile it again. Oops, Joy Mouse. And 7L. Oops, hitting too many buttons there. 7L, uh, let's output it as Joy Mouse 7. Okay, Joy Mouse dot 7, and that, um, that's end USB lib. And that library file that I need to run this with. USB dot Number seven. Oh, whoops. My keyboard might be flaking out here. Let's try that. All right, hopefully that works. So, joy, mouse. Oh yeah, it's definitely dropping some letters here. I have to get a new keyboard. Maybe that's what I should get with my money. All right. There we go, now it's working. So I'm gonna grab my joystick here and I can start moving the mouse around. And the buttons work so I can select different windows. I can, let's see, this would be down here would be the, the right button. Yep. So I can do, make me a new window. I can draw out a window here. So, run a nice long command here so I can test the scroll. So I can scroll up and down. So pardon the lag on the video up here. I'm starting to tax this little Raspberry Pi a bit much. But yep, there we go. So not too hard to like, you know, write a, uh, basically a driver to, you know, use the uh, joystick as a mouse. Let's go back to this window here and get out. Anyway, so just a short little video here, and uh, thank you all for watching my videos and sending some money, and uh, as usual, have fun.